Dr. Owusu or Chalk. It's Dr. O for the 804. As the premier knee and hip shoulder sports surgeon, Virginia, I would like to remind you that health equals power. Sports build and uplift communities. Nothing else can. The mission of sports medicine is to keep athletes of all ages and levels at the top of their game. Dr. O is located at Ortho, Virginia, Schrader Road, office location. Appointments can be scheduled online at orthovirginia.com or by calling 804-939-6688. You can follow Dr. O on Instagram at Dr. O underscore for the 804 and uplifting educational content about sports health. Hi, everyone. I'm Coach Rick Stockel. I am co-owner of Newman and Dunn Real Estate here in Central Virginia, as well as I am a high school boys basketball coach at Monacan High School. I've sold over 1,300 homes here in Central Virginia, and I would love to work with you and your family in your home buying needs. Uh, I am a proud primary sponsor of Ballin' in Virginia, and I hope you enjoy this show. Yeah, man, I appreciate Rick Stocker for sponsoring the show today. He's a great guy, great coach. Great realtor here in Virginia. Make sure you give him a call or check out his website at, over at rickstocker.com if you're looking for any homes in Virginia. Thanks again, and let's get into this episode. Welcome to another episode of Ball in the VA. Today we're going to switch it up a little bit, but it's still in the same realm, man. I got my man, man, childhood friend from the north side, HP. My boy, man, we go back to JFK. Shit, we go back probably Henderson. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. Henderson. But you forgot Churchill, too. Yeah, Churchill, all of that That's stuff, where man. where it all started. All started, you know, man, man, playing ball, football, picking up and run, however you want to do all it. All that. Flipping, <laughs> everything. But, man, Fofo, man, DJ King 804, for everybody to know to be out there putting that music out there, man. What's going on, on Fo? Nothing, man, you know, stay on the grind, first of all. Thanks for having me, man. Giving me this opportunity, dog. You know, yeah, man. You know to come. You know, sit down, chat with you. You know what I'm saying? Do some catching up, and you know, yeah. That's it. Doing, we talked. We talked. What was it back in August? Yeah, yeah. It was back in August, yeah. man. So we had to make sure that the time was right. Yes, sir. Um, you know, so no, man. We gonna start. We are gonna let everybody know how big of an athlete you were. You're much of an <laughs> athlete. You was a hell of an athlete. And talk about all the many talents that you got, man, especially them Kennedy talent shows where mm -hmm. y'all used to rip it. A lot of mm -hmm. people don't know. So if you don't know, you're going to find out today. Yes, sir. You're going to find out a lot of stuff that you probably like, damn, I ain't know he did mm -hmm. all of that. But we're going to do all that stuff. So, yeah, man, so let's get right into it, man. Yes, so what did it all start, bro? Man, it's, it, it all started it, back in the late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as far as getting introduced to uh, music itself and and dancing and stuff like that. My oldest brother. Okay. O o shout out, yes, sir. Shout out to my big brother, Poo Poo, man. Uh, wonderful big brother, man. Like, the greatest. You feel me? Like, the bond is crazy, man. I, I just salute him, man, because if it weren't for him, man, I might, you know what I'm saying? I might wouldn't be sitting right here right now, man. Mm -hmm. Him and a lot of other people, you know what I'm saying? We'll get to that down the line, but right. it starts with that cat right there. So he introduced me to music, mm -hmm. you know, and it just took off from there. He showed me how to dance, boom, boom, boom. Then we just started going around. You know how it was back in the day. It was always something to do. Mm -hmm. Some event, somebody was having to cook out or we at the playgrounds, like Bill Robinson and stuff like that. They had yeah. the bands. And we just used to go out there, man, and we want on the ticket. We, you know, the band, boom, right. boom, 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 doing their thing. Right. Me and my brother, man, we took it upon ourselves, man. We walked on the people's set and started yeah. dancing. Well, are you serious? I, 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 here it is, bro. Not knowing what the outcome was gonna be, mm -hmm. we we added on to their, 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 you know what I'm saying, that concert. Like, hey, brother, crowd loved it. They thought it was playing. Man, yeah, because your brother, man, he was just real cool mm -hmm. and smooth how he did stuff, man. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, when he did stuff, like I said, y'all was just like, I mean, for us, y'all was like kid and play to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, when y'all was out there doing them thing, man, mm -hmm. Jackie, you got to go back to when we was at Henderson, mm -hmm. when we was doing the talent shows, mm -hmm. when you was actually doing the talent shows, mm -hmm. and you was rapping and stuff, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it was like, yep. you, it was nothing that you could not do. 
Yeah, man. It was from rapping, <laughs> from dancing. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, playing sports. I was yes, like, then you got to think about when we was in the band. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. I remember you were playing drums, but then I remember you went to be playing the tuba. Yeah. So you could dance to yeah. that jump. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, folk playing the tuba? Well, yeah, I had to make it work. Mr. McGee was like, hey, son, you know how you talk. Mm -hmm. Him and Kill. Yeah. Actually, shout out Kill with Dabs. He he talked me into it. I said, Kill, come on, man. That big thing, man. Yeah. I said, man, look how little I am. He was like, Fo, you can do it, man. They showed me the notes. And, and I and you know what? For damn, the record, man. for the record, I actually played those notes. Oh, for real? I won't, yeah, I won't faking it. Cause you know, I was like, man, y'all was I was like, Yeah, me and Big Kill like, would be. But you but like I said, but you did. Like mm -hmm. you said, I was like, it was it was just you and Kill yep. when when I came in, yep. right? Because yep. it normally was like when, before, the, yeah, I think they had what like three or four, well, three or four of them, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But then when I came on, it was just I think it was just you and him. Mm -hmm. And when y'all used to dance, man, mm -hmm. oh my God, it was like, yo, mm -hmm. man, we used to get so hyped. Yes, yeah, sir. I was in the band too. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, yeah we, you know, yeah, one of some not many talents. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. But no, let's talk about Excuse that, me. man, because like I said, y'all used to get in there, man. So what made you like really just start like because. You are what I call an entertainer. Uh -huh. but I can go with that. You don't, you don't get the credit for that, mm -hmm. you know, because you think about when, when y'all was, and I know we're going to go a little forward, mm -hmm. you, Skills, mm -hmm. for, um, Poo Poo. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all. Tony Reeves, think, too. Um, Tony, Reeves. Tony Reeves came, yep. Um, then what's his name? Used to um, Calvin Porter, wasn't he rapping? I think y'all was dancing for him or something like that. No, he 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 he, he had his he, own joint. Yeah, he had his own joint. Okay. I forgot who was dancing with him though. But he, yeah. he did have he did have two dancers. Yeah. I forgot who it was though. I don't know if it was Irvin and um JP or something. I don't it know. was somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but still, man, like mm -hmm. you said, y'all was doing your thing and people didn't know that. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. the entertainer. Mm -hmm. So this DJ thing ain't nothing new. He's mm -hmm. been doing it. Mm -hmm. It's just now that he's putting himself out there and he's been doing his thing all over Richmond and all over VA, man. We just want to give his flowers while here because everybody I appreciate him. <laughs> he's doing house parties. I mean, whatever parties there is, man, he's been doing it, man. So for me, I'm like, this ain't nothing new. Yeah. So let them know, man. Let them know where it stopped, man, because they need to hear it from you. Yeah. I can go all day. Like I say, after that, after that, man, uh, start just me and him just start practicing heavily boom 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 so i'm like okay boom 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 so after that man it just i think when i was like i say like when we when we when i first got to kennedy mm -hmm. i mean we used to do all the june jubilees and yeah, yeah, you know what i'm saying because yeah. we came in the game we used to break we used that, to break that, and we used to pop too right that's there. for the, cook, that, for the hey, people don't know what a june jubilee yeah bro that, yeah, that bro. was that was the event to yeah, go bro. to down in sixth street marketplace yeah bro yeah, because actually though, uh, that's where it started. We came, we came in the in the game when hip hop first started. So you know, right. hip hop is a culture. Right. You know, you had your graffiti, your break dancing, your poppers, all that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's how we came in the game. So we used to, we used to uh, go down the bottom of the hill uh, uh, where Matthew Heights at, right? Mm -hmm. The place called Beacons. Remember Beacons yeah, used to be down yeah, there. I remember that. We used to go down there, and they used to give us their cardboard. Oh, and for we real, used to walk. The, 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 um, the, 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 the truck play, mm -hmm. the little green mm -hmm. and white junk. Yeah. So we, they used to give us the cardboard. We used to walk back up to Matthew Heights, put it down. Man, my cousin Ski or whoever, they had the boom box. And we just used to, boom, everybody just took turns doing that. And then we started doing these local um, um, uh, 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 dance contests. And look, this is a trip part about it. And you can remember this. They used to be in the basement of St. Elizabeth Church. Are you serious? For one dollar. Not the school, but the church. The church, my brother. Oh, wow. Bruh, live DJ and everything. And they used to have these, like, uh, dance contests, right? Man, we used to win them jumps every, like, every Friday, man. That was the move. That was the move. I remember all that. And then from there, boom, here come Kennedy. Mm-hmm. So, cause at first, when when I first started my never year, you know, I was at John Marshall. Now, mind you. Okay, so I didn't know you. So, were, right, you, you I got, mentioned it, but I didn't know that. I got a semester in at John Marshall, mm -hmm. and my mom transferred me because I was screwing up, mm -hmm. and my brother Poopoo was like, "I told you, mom, send him over there with me." So that's how I ended up at Kennedy. Oh. So, and when I get there, I'm like, 
Man, I, this, this everybody I grew up with. So right. it's the same thing. It was booming, and then but uh, but but I get there, and I'm wondering how the teachers and stuff know me already. I say, I say, how y'all know me? They say, man, your brother been telling us for the past four weeks, man. You had my brother coming over here, watch his own, <laughs> his own way to the talent shows, and boom, started with that. That's when I met Skills. Yeah, you know what I'm Skills saying? Skills was there mm -hmm. my ninth grade year. He was a senior when I Mad Skills, yeah. That's when I hooked up with him. Cause see him and my him and my brother was man. him and my brother and Tony did the first talent show. Okay. I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So when I got there, I got there a year after that. Okay. Because that's when we was having them at the school. Right. No, we was having two nights right. at the school. We was having two nights at the school. And the head got so big, yeah, we, had to, we had to go, mosque, we had to go to the mosque. Which is now our trio. Yeah. So we like. I got introduced to that, and I'm like, okay, boom, boom, boom. And this is live band, y'all. It won't know. It will, shout out to the K-Band, baby. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Bill McGee? Man. So, dope. bro, we had live instruments. So, okay, go go from the high school to the landmark was like, I ain't going to lie, it was a culture shock. It, it was. Because you go from maybe 800 a night. I told him, you can get about eight in there. Yeah. For two nights, that's sixteen hundred. We had the upper deck. We had the balcony too, so right. So let's let's just say sixteen hundred. So I go, we get to the landmark, and I'm like, you know, just boom, 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 going through the motions, and you know, we say the prayer before every time we perform. So after we say the prayer, Mister McGee was like, "Yo, yo, yo!" By the way, we sold out, and when he said that, it hit me. I was like, it's about to be five thousand people in here. Man, like it was nothing. Hey, bro, when that joint, when that joint happened like that, bro, mm -hmm. and as soon as we stepped, man, when that people introduced us, bro, and as soon as we hit the stage, bro, it was a wrap. It like, it shocked me. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It, it was like a doble, bro. I was like, oh shit, this is the big lead. I'm like, five, eight. and you can, you can hear the people just like. Call, you know what I'm saying, saying my name, say my brother's name, Tony yeah, name, skills, whatever. Man. man, and I used to sit back there and watch my brother, and I used to look at him. This is what really gave me that really, really motivation, man. I used to watch my brother, man, and watch how he demanded the crowd, bro. He did. I never, and we was not signed, no. We weren't no group, we weren't with no label, no none. We was just regular brothers from Richmond. Cause it was man, he was, he was the lead, yeah. And you and Skills was the dancer, yeah. And people don't know Skills was was dancing, mad Skills. Yep, them three and people don't. That's know. That's my man. I love him, man. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, yeah, but so, and I'm just watching them right here, and I'm like, this little dude, man, that right there, that inspiration, boom, boom, boom. And I seen the way he demanded his jump, boom. And I'm like, man, I never in my life thought that I. I have 5,000 people just like stand up. And then yep. I was catching the bus to school because I was living in, in Nottingham. Right. So I used to have to catch the bus. This the old, hey, y'all. This the old, this the old Broad Street where Cavaliers was sitting right there. Mm -hmm. All that, you know what I'm saying? The Apollos, yep. all that, man. The movies across the street. Move across the street. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, I didn't realize the impact that I had on a lot of people until I, I, after the talent show, I caught the bus. And this one evening, I'm coming home, and I just heard, it was like three girls walk past me. Mm -hmm. And just was like screaming and stuff. I was like, it is him, girl. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm standing right there, and she was like, excuse me, your name Fofo? I was like, yeah. She just started snapping. I was like, I told you. Then the other two came over there. I was like, Wow. <laughs> It was like, we Man. love y'all. That's why we go to the talent shows and, you know what I'm saying? And, and we had like, what, over 30 acts, but people used to be like, and I ain't tooting my own horn, but people used to be like, hey, man, I'm going that jump. It's Poo Poo and Fofo in that jump. And they like, yep. man, and that night, one night, Eric Lee was hosting it. I think that was I 90. That. It was 93. We murdered that joint. Man, we got an encore, dog. And I was like, wow. Like, when we left, they, the crowd just was like, Poo, poo, poo. And we, and we walked back stage. My brother was like, what we gonna do? I was like, we gotta go back out there. We yeah. came back out there, man, they started screaming, man. Eric Lee was like, I never seen that before, you know what I'm saying? You know, these brothers get the encore and was not signed with nobody. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? We just local talent, you know what I'm saying? But you, it, it, it was big. Then after that, we, you know, stuck, stuck together, we started doing other things, but then it, the dancing stopped for me. 
Okay. You know, so after that, other stuff indulged. You know what I'm saying? That's when the street, the street come to play. The street was in play when I was there, but after we stopped that, I had more time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To focus on the negative instead of the positive what I was doing. Okay. So boom, 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 that go. Every, you know, you know the regular. Typical street. I don't. I ain't really got to go into all the details. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I. Got, yes, I. I had got locked up. Mm-hmm. I indulged in some other stuff too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is. You know what I'm saying? So, because I didn't know myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? So then I had. You know, after all that, I had to find myself. I had my first son, and I was 26. That what did it? That changed the game. Okay. Then I was like, nope. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna do this right. You know what I'm saying? So then time went 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 past, and some. Some I, I don't know what it was. A voice was like, "Hey, foe, you need to get back into the you know the music scene." Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, now all these years passed. I don't know who to get plugged in with. Mm-hmm. I started reaching out to different people, right? So, boom, I started uh, emceeing, which I was gifted with that anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Ultimate, I'm ultimate. seeing parties, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, you know, live the party up, you know what I'm saying? So boom, boom. I get on that, uh, at, at Posh, shout out to TT. Posh, Legends, Tyrone Powell, my man. If it won't for him, mm-hmm. and some other people, right? So, but in, anyway, I started doing that. And then people thought I was a DJ, right? So rappers was giving me their CDs. Okay. He was giving me that music. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, boom, boom, boom. They was giving me the music, but I, I sat on it. Okay. Because I ain't really know which lane to go, right? So one day, I'm chilling. This about, I say like about 06, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, 06. I'm chilling. I'm chilling at work one day, right? So I get all these, I get all these, these uh, uh, CDs, right? Okay. Boom, boom. I'm working at VCU parking deck. I'm at work one day, right? I'm in the booth. I seen my supervisor, cause he was telling us somebody was a great start, but they ain't never say the name. So, man, walking up, guess who come walk up? Oh. I'm here, Lil Rock. Uh, shout out to Rock, man. So look, man, met up with him. Mm-hmm. He stopped rapping. You know what I'm saying? So. A little bit of time went on, so one day I'm at home, some, some say, hey, fo, them jokes you got, won't you start doing mixtapes so people can hear the local talent? Right. Imagine now, again, I reached out to people, nobody act like they wanted. You know what I'm saying? A couple people, man, Hustle Man, the original Hustle Man. I forgot his real name, but you may, he used to be up in the VCU area. Right? Okay. He, hey, man, Hustle anything. You know what I'm saying? That was the plug with me as far as printing my CDs, get my CDs done. Because he had the tower joint, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, So, rock, boom. After I started, you know what I'm saying, I got the idea to do the joint. I went to the studio. I went to Don Land. Shout out to Don Land, man. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> man, they're a big part. Ark, Los, all them, boom. Never knew how to, never knew how to record like that. And, so, and all this was through, like, what man telling you to. Boom. And, and I, shout out to him, man. Watch bruh. that Spike Punch podcast they do, too, man. They do an excellent job. Yes, sir. We'll plug that in there. Yes, too. sir. Yeah, man. So he he was like, I was like, boom, boom, boom. But he ain't know. He ain't know I was going to, he, he mentioned it, but he ain't know when I was going to do it, right? Okay. Man, so boom. He, I had some music of his. So I go in the studio, do the joint. Boom. Get them printed out. Get him a couple of them. He said, what's this? He looked at it, he was like, oh, you did the mixtape? Boom. I'm slinging them joints. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to see if they catch on. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. People start reaching out to me on MySpace. Okay. Hey, yo, folks, start sending me music. Really back, yeah, so they start sending me the music. So I was like, okay, Roxy, I told you, nigga, Roxy, you know what, bro? I'm getting back in the studio. All of them now, hey, look, the whole union, all that. The only one, th- I, the only one I think was still making music. I think the only one that was, the only one that was really being consistent with the music was Joe Doja. Rest in peace, my nigga. Yeah, right. All of the union, you know what I'm saying? Sean P. All of them had just, you know, chill for a minute, man. I put that light back in them. Mixtapes took all man, music coming from everywhere. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. I did, I did like six, six or seven volumes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, and, and people supported me. So, then after that, I'm emceeing. That's when I started. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. 
killing it, you know what I'm saying, doing what I do. So then one day I was like, something told me to say, hey, man, you need to get rid of the middle, man. He was like, it's his voice in my head now. Say, you, hey, your mic game already there. Mm-hmm. You need to start DJing. And I was like, oh. You're perfect for it. I was like, oh, invest. I said, hey, man, I want y'all to listen to something. Hey, bro. Whatever your passion is, mm-hmm. go hard for it, dog. Because now, where I'm at now, bruh, I started with one speaker. Wow. One My speaker. dog, one speaker. And, a, and I started with the, the, uh, the beginner Numark controller. Oh, wow. That joint was called the Party Mix. That joint was $100. I got that. And now you see, you know me. I saw I'm saying to myself, I said, yeah. I said, I know they're gonna laugh. I said, but that's all right though. I'm about to kill a game. And my boy, DJ Kenny Boy, shout out to my homeboy DJ Kenny Boy. He was like, he said, Fo, you gonna look back at what you started with and look back what you got now and be like, man, hey bro, I did that. I started with that one speaker. You know what that one speaker, that one speaker paid for the majority of everything I got now. You know what I got now, bro? What? I got two. 18 and subs, and I got like four, four or five monitors. Wow. 15s. Man. From one speaker, but guess how, and, and guess how long it took? How long? One year. Like a year and a half. That's it. Because when, when I started, that speaker started getting me, getting me paid, but what got me in the game was, see, I, I, I announced and DJed the Little League football games. Yeah, see, so that man, would put me in the game. Oh, so perfect for that. Bro, that would put me, that, that would put me in, and been play for the get to where I'm at now with that one speaker. You see what I'm saying? I did the play by play and I was DJing. So I locked down every damn near every uh rec organization was hitting me up. I'm out there all day doing eight yeah, games. Man, Cause you like our DJ clue. You was like You know what I'm saying? Our like all yeah. those DJ like our was it what's what's the guy's name? Funk Master Flex yeah. and all them. You were yeah. you was our version yeah. of that. And see it's it's and it was natural. It's our see that that's why I was trying to get people to see. I just don't DJ parties and cookouts. Like I say, I I do football games. I, I don't I don't know one DJ that's doing that. And matter of fact, and doing play by play. And matter of fact, when we did when I came to Keechwan's camp last summer, you was DJing, I did and it. I didn't know it until you it. told me. Yep. And it was crazy that you did that. Yep. Wow. Yeah. That is crazy. Damn. From that, my business is where is that now? From word of mouth. That come from me. Doing something for one person, they telling somebody else. It man, it's like a, it's a ch- chain reaction, dog. I don't have to pass out cards, and it, it seems like every gig I do, mm-hmm. I book one or two. Well, we, that's why we brought you here today. You know what I'm saying? And, and before we go on, won't you go ahead and plug yourself right now? Because we're gonna get you to plug yourself right now, where they find you, and mm-hmm. then we're gonna do it at the end. So go ahead, and plug yourself okay. right now. Uh, on social media, you can find me. You know, you can plug me in on Instagram, DJ underscore King. K I N G eight zero F O E. That's DJ underscore King eight oh four. That's my uh that's my Instagram. My my Facebook is 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 my government. That's straight Kevin Braxton on that one right hey, there. So everybody keep you know I know you're full for, but I keep yeah. forgetting you, Kevin Braxton. Yeah, so, yeah. So crazy. that's you know that's what that is with that one. But um, yeah, that's where you can find me. I mean, that, 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 that's basically what I use. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. See, that's why we had to get you in here, man, because we want to take it from here to here. Yeah. And that's why we brought you here today, because yeah. now it's March. It's about to be the spring, man. Mm-hmm. And like what they say, it's going to be hot girl summer soon. Bruh. So, you know, I'm ready for it. Like, no, man, we got to get that blessing for you, bro. I can't wait, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, you've been doing them little league games and yeah. everything. You, you, were, you were such a natural for it, man. Mm-hmm. And see, for me, what I always wanted to ask you, mm-hmm. how can you. You was the only guy <laughs> that could play sports real good, mm-hmm. but and dance like most people get clowned if they can sing or they can dance, but they use sports to be cool. Mm. You never did that, man. Mm-hmm. You did pretty much everything. It was like if you felt like okay, you was on the basketball team, mm-hmm. you was on the football team, you mm-hmm. played flag football, you played baseball, yep, yep, for Hoskins, yep. I mean, you did all of this stuff, and I'm just like, is there something this man can't do? Mm-hmm. And you were just natural with it. You weren't really trying to do it just to, like, okay, 
I'm like a fit in. Yeah. Know, trying to be down with yeah. you. You was good at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Basketball, you mm-hmm. was a shooter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Baseball. Mm-hmm. I remember it was, then you play with Touche and and, yeah, and, and, and all of them. I played at Kennedy too. Yeah. So that's what I'm yep. saying. So you did every sport, right? Probably except for wrestling. Mm, yeah. You know no, what I'm no. saying? But no. but you know, but you have to do that, man, because I'll be honest with you, in the street, you could put them hands up too. Yeah, you know well, saying? you know, I mean So that was just the way <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I get yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I just called it what it is. Yeah. So no man, I love everybody though. You know right. what? You always show love. I don't care who, who it is. You always show love. You know what I'm saying? So no yeah. color, no none of that. Yeah, huh? I remember, and I'm gonna take it back mm-hmm. to when y'all was in Henderson winning them basketball championships mm-hmm. when you had when you were playing with Kevin Ross. Yeah, and all Lee Ross, all us. Shout yeah. out to K Ross. Yes, sir. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. no wife, man. I, I'm giving y'all the details here, man, because mm-hmm. he was just you did everything, mm-hmm. and I can't really name anybody. That did what you've done. Mm-hmm. I like, appreciate that, man. No, and I'm I'm serious. It's like you think about it. You did every sport and other stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, just what just made you just say, "Man, I'm just go ahead and do it." Like, cause tired of getting, who, I ain't tired of getting who play sports like that. T- I, like, I I always yeah, cause see, like, Pooh ain't he ain't really played rec. He played rec when we played down in the uh uh. And Verona, mm-hmm. literally, he played one year, but I just, you know, continue on. But he, he, hey, he was a hell of an athlete too. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, it was just that at me, I just like, I like, I'm real competitive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they be like, what? They be like, they the best or he the best? All right, where you, you at? You going you gonna slide your it, stuff? It, 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 it ain't no, it ain't, no, it ain't nothing personal, nothing. Mm-hmm. It's just, and see, that's what people, people don't. Don't understand our generation because that's our generation. Right, we real competitive. We passionate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Real competitive. So it won't like nobody was saying that you. Bad. Yeah, like it, upset. it won't like nobody saying that you whack or nothing because people say you the best. I'm gonna see. I'm, I want to test the waters. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it's, that's how it is. It, it's been like that here in Richmond all my life. So some people just don't know how to take it, mm-hmm. but it's just that's what it is. Ain't nobody you know trying to outdo you. But it's just here in Richmond, it's just this a competitive city. Right. You know it's what I'm so saying? It's small too. It's small and you know, everybody know everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's real competitive and, and that's the part I like about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. No, man. And then I think about it, last year you was um what's my boy? Don. Don them had an event at John Marshall to stop the violence and squeaky. Yeah, and, and yeah. The DJ that mm-hmm. too. The basketball. The basketball thing. Yeah. And that's when I saw you there. That's mm-hmm. when I think I first started my podcast. Bro, and when you, I first and, got here. And, and you yup, because I I came over you, you. And you hollered at me and you told me what you was about I to didn't do. Know. You was about to do and stuff. And I was like, all right, bro. Y'all say I love it. I love to do that. He yeah. was like, for I'm I'm getting everything straight. But you will get, you know what I'm saying? You will get that call. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I try to tell, I try to be a man of my word, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it takes a while for me to kind of get things going. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like I said, you had your hand in some of everything. Mm-hmm. And that's why I want to let people know the type of person you are. Because, mm-hmm. like you said, you roll with this organized union. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, me and Bear, we go back King's Dominion. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? And then I realized that to me, I thought he was probably the most talented. Mm-hmm. Out of this, you know, mm-hmm. he was an extension of the Super Friends. He mm-hmm. went immediately, like, in there, but he was mm-hmm. with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And all those guys was talented. You, like I said, you rolled with those guys. You played flag football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You was a I played softball, too. You know, I did, oh, I did uh, yeah. uh, 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 Luxfield, yep. Charles City League. I can't, and, oh, and the, the, and the main thing that keeps me going, you know how I am about the kids. I, this will be my 19th year coaching Little League football. Okay. That, Tell them where you at. That, I'm at Glenn Lee. You Shout know what I'm saying? Shout out to my lines. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Leeper. All that, you know, everybody. That's I talked to him the other day. The, oh, you did? Yeah, I talked to Leeper the other day. Shout out to Leeper. Yeah, man. I met the whole organization. It's, you know what I'm saying? Love, family. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that's really where my heart at. Mm-hmm. The kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... I I, I change a lot of lives, which that's my goal. Mm-hmm. I can't. I mean, I'm, I ain't gonna change all of them, but it's 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 more than I thought. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even to the older players that's old in college now, mm-hmm. some of them in the league. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, they it feels so good when they come back and they call you. You know what I'm saying? 
mm-hmm. coach. He, you know what I'm saying? Meet me at uh, Wild Wings. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? Wanna they just the gratitude. Yeah, man. And then, you know, tell you that they love you and stuff like that, man. You know. But you did every. See, you're the per- like. If I'm a kid, right? Mm-hmm. See, you're one of the coaches, right? Mm-hmm. And you know how we always sit around and we talk about what we've done as as as, as adults or young. When, we, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. this is what I did. Mm-hmm. But you actually did that, though. Mm-hmm. You did, man. Like, if I could sit up here and think about every sport or every activity that was to do, you mm-hmm. was a part of that. Mm-hmm. You lived in every part of town that I could think of. Mm-hmm. Been Everybody <laughs> knew you. You know what I'm saying? We ain't call you Kevin. We mm-hmm. call you Fofo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, when the teachers call me, like, who the hell is Kevin? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know no Kevin. A couple of my teachers, a couple of them call me Fofo. You know what I'm saying? A couple Pro- of them. Proud of Mr. Robinson or somebody yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teachers that was... Kinda a couple like, of my candidates, you, you know, yeah, like when yeah. we got the candidate, like Mr. Fellman or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They, no, no, Fellman uh, went to Wallace. Yeah, Wallace. Mr. You know Wallace, saying? yeah, not Mr. Yeah. Fellman. No, yeah. I ain't even do that. Yeah, man. No, but that you did that, man. Coach Brown, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Handle people like that. Yeah, Modern, man. Uh, you play football. Mr. Who was it? Coach James. Yeah, Bill James. Bill James. Yeah. Yep. So, and my favorite teacher, Miss Still is, and Ooh. we still we still talk, bro. Oh, Miss Dyson. Are you serious? That's my baby, man. Man. And she still, hey, bro. Man, like it ain't nothing. Still right, ticking. Miss Dyson. Jean Dyson, English, boy. Yeah, she was right beside. That was my, that was Skills' homeroom teacher when I first got there. Okay. Because I was in Miss Whitelock class. Okay, yep. Yep, right beside yeah, each other. Yep. Yeah, Miss Dyson, man, she's still kicking, man. Bro, bro, when I say, bro, she come to, um, she's come to the Little D football games. Oh, she was come check me out. Her grandson, man. her grandson was out there Dyson, playing. Man. That's the, hey, man, Miss Dyson, that's my. Hey, bro, she saved my life. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, man. For real. It was, it was Dyson for you. It was for Mr. Pitts for me. Oh, yeah. If it weren't for Mr. Pitts, yeah. I would not be sitting here today. Yeah, because for Mr. real. Mr. Pitts saved my life, man. For real. You was a loud while, too. Yeah, I, I was. But People, man, it, 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 he, <laughs> he sit up here all calm. You know what I'm saying? Man, you, you was a loud while, too, dog. I, I, I was. I, I ain't going to lie. Every time I used to look up, dog. I was like, damn, what? what? What's wrong with L, man? Who, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody was pissing. Somebody, yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh, I'm debating. I ain't see you start nothing. No, I'm I just did. saying it was like, you know what I'm saying? I people was like, people was trying head. you, yeah, like, yeah, you know. And I, ain't, yeah, I won't never try to go out there to start somebody. No. So I always had to defend myself mm-hmm. in regards to that. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, but um, before mm-hmm. we go move on, mm-hmm. we want y'all to uh, subscribe, like, and comment. On the videos on YouTube, man. That's exactly how we keep this thing going. And we want to know if it was good, bad. You know, I don't care whether. Just let me know what we can improve on. But just really talk about the show because, again, we get the likes. We get the views. Huh. But we need more comments. There you go. So I don't care if it's like, man, I want to see such and such. Please comment on the page. So we got to get y'all to start doing that a little bit more. And I got to start saying that more. So mm-hmm. no offense to anybody. I love all y'all, but y'all got to start commenting. Don't yeah. comment on my Facebook page. Don't comment on my Instagram. Don't comment on my TikTok. Go to YouTube. And if you ain't, sign up for YouTube and, and, and subscribe so you can put them comments and get notifications. There you go. We appreciate it. But yeah, man, we're going back. But mm-hmm. yeah, man, just, just, boy, you, you did it all, man. Mm-hmm. But that's going to like your, your DJing and stuff now, mm-hmm. man. I know you were still doing. Are you still doing the um, the Fridays at uh at military? Nah, nah, nah. I'm I'm not um I'm not um they on Fridays, but uh, shout out to them too, dog. Like I appreciate what they did too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Coming to me, boom. You know what I'm saying? Give me the opportunity to rock over there because that's what was one of the places I said I wanted to rock when I first started DJing. You know how you had that in your mind when you first. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm a, that's my goal. Boom, military. Boom! I, I rock. I got like good eight, eight months out of. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Was there for a while. Yeah, right? but I think when I was talking to you, that's when you was doing mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, so man. Why don't you plug in some of the places, some of the events that you're gonna be doing coming up? Even your 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 50th badge for yourself. Mm-hmm. Just plug the places where people can go so they can come and check you out, bro. Man, I got uh, I got some private events, but um, I got one. Well, this Saturday, I'm gonna be at the um, I'm gonna be at the railroad. Okay. Uh, where's they located? Uh, it's on Chamberlain Avenue. I forgot that. I don't know the address right offhand, but it's beside the 7-Eleven on... Um, right there on Chamberlain, right when you come off of North... A- right, right, what is it, about? By, by Union? Yeah, uh-huh. Yep, there you go. So okay. I'm there uh, from 2 to 6. Um, I have something that night. I, it's, I'm in 
pardon me for this, excuse me. I, I it's locked in as a goal, but it it just got cleared early. I just didn't, you know, write it down and stuff. And okay. so that's I got that's going to be Saturday night. Okay, that's going to be off McCain's. Well, list. like I said, if they go so, to your page, yeah, all, all like that, that, all that. So make sure y'all go to his page, yeah, and all everything that. Like that, and check him out so y'all can get that information. Yeah, y'all ain't got nothing going on. Yeah, y'all go out there and support this brother. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So then, what else you got coming down the pike? Like I said, the summer. Basically, the week, basically man. summertime. That's my that's my cookout time. Mm -hmm. And see, it, it's I do I do clubs, but I don't I don't like doing clubs. So most of my clientele is from private parties and people renting out buildings. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Stuff like that, weddings, mm -hmm. of course. But um, man, summertime cookouts crazy. I got a lot of them booked already. I got uh, well, like you said, my badge coming up. My Aries, it, it's my 50th. Mm -hmm. That's coming up in uh, in April. And basically, that, I got, like I say, weddings, cookouts. Yeah, and, and whatever, everybody, like, I mean. <laughs> everybody need a DJ for a wedding. Yeah. Everybody need a DJ for a cookout because yep. everybody just do last minute stuff. Yep. And the first thing they say is, who gonna DJ? Yep. Oh, man, help me find a DJ. Yep. So I know a lot of you guys watch Ball in the VA, mm -hmm. and y'all can pass along with word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Y'all, please, you know, he said, shout out Fofo. That's why I got him on here today, man, to plug mm -hmm. him up right now in March, because I'm telling you. I'm, I'm it, Like I was telling you earlier, I'm like, I didn't tap in. I'm tapped in all the way to October. Like, wow. Joe says, ink then, like like I was telling you earlier, mm -hmm. it's a couple, it's, in some of them months, I might have one weekend still available or, or, or two, but those are going to get, as it, Start getting warm and warm. Somebody's going to get them dates. That's how we start. Right. Yeah. Because people don't. People do stuff at the last last minute. minute. Stuff. stuff. Yep. Like, you know what? I feel like doing something. Yep. Yeah. So yep. that I do pop ups. Man, I do. I do everything. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it'll limit to you know. What I'm saying, if you need music, whatever event you need for music, you know, what I'm saying, I can. You know, what I'm saying, I can do it. Man, that had to be your calling. It is. Hey, look, man, it's man, funny you, you say that, bro. You, you got that. You be, you and me used to always talk about sports and yeah. about sports stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you got it, man. It's yeah. like, that's just like mm -hmm. perfect for you. You know what, man? I'm going to tell you what did it. And I'm being perfectly honest, totally honest. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to ask it up here and act like I'm holier, holier than thou. No, nobody. But this, this has started, bro. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. When I started, Tapping more into God. Okay. I always, I knew he exists. I knew he was the man. Mm -hmm. But I won't tap in like I supposed to. Okay. So when I started tapping in, and that's where my brother Poopoo come in too. Okay. He schooled me. You know what I'm saying? Told me, boom, boom, I can't rush you or nothing. He said, but he said that they gonna come. He got so, that he got that about him. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he he see, bro, when he talked. You listen and see people say the same thing about me. They be like, "No, nah, for when you talk, you make me feel like I was there right beside you when you telling me something." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. When he when I started tapping in more to God, man, it was like he all he was talking to me, but me not being tapped in, I won't hear his voice. It was like it was a low pitch. You know what I'm saying? But the more and more I started tapping in, that voice started getting stronger and stronger. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so I started. I was saying to myself, I was like, shoot, well then, I, I ain't gonna move unless God tell me move. Mm -hmm. You you could come to me and have the, the most brilliant I idea in the world. But if God say, if that voice say, don't move yes, son. Don't move. I ain't gonna move. You know what I'm saying? When he, all, all these decisions I've been making for the past 10 years and stuff like that, man, is me going by that. And know what, bro? And that's what's, that's, that's what's keeping everything clean, bro. I don't have that stress on me no more, man. Because I went, man, I was going through it, bro. I mean, I hit rock bottom, bro. Wow. See, see, a lot of people don't know, bro. I was homeless. I ain't scared to admit that. No, I didn't come on, know bro. That either. Cause that's what I chose to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Those from my decisions. Mm -hmm. And the only way I broke, I broke that that spell and that curse with them streets, boy, and the drugs and all that crazy stuff, man. Mm -hmm. I had to hold myself accountable, dog. That's why I am. Uh, Advocate or strong advocate, we was talking about this earlier, mm -hmm. about the truth. I don't care who get mad. You know what I'm saying? I just, people just, I don't know why people run from it. But, bro, when I woke up and caught on, but my life, bro, like, it's scary in a sense. Mm -hmm. It's like, dog, it's here, like, everything. And, you know, he's, 
You know what, bro? And on, on my journey, he took some people on my life. Mm-hmm. And he tell me, he's like, boy, until you leave, leave this situation alone or this person alone, he said, I'm going to bless you. But you ain't going to get the gusto yet, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, when I actually started doing that, boom. I'm here, man. Like, that's, that that right there, that that thing getting close with God, man, that's where it started at, bro. Like, it's amazing. That's that why I'm sitting, I look like I'm in a trance right now, but because I be thinking about it, man, I'm like, man, it was that simple the whole time. But I was fighting myself. You know what I'm saying? That which we all tend to do. But I don't care when they come. I done got on board, so boom. I'm going to continue to rock it out. You know what I'm saying? Whether you, you like it or not. But you can always, but you always, and then even go back to your brother, both of you guys know how to command an audience. Mm-hmm. You guys always had that about y'all. And like I always tell people, you never know who watch it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So... You guys, I just kind of always wonder how you was able to manage to do all of that stuff, man, because you was always good at doing this. Like, you weren't, like, great at doing it. Mm-hmm. You was really good at doing it, mm-hmm. but you did everything. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, man, this dude, with the, like, how, how does he do that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Which is push him to just want to be involved in that. But like you said, go back to that competitive. Mm-hmm. Like, well, okay, well, he can do it. I can do it, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think he was an inspiration to a lot of people, and you didn't really even know it. No, so I like didn't. I said, like, like I saw <laughs> you, but I'm going to tell you, when me and remember Dwayne, from, they used to play the bass drum mm-hmm. with Kennedy. That, mm-hmm. was, that, that, that was my guy. Mm-hmm. I love Dwayne. Mm-hmm. But I remember we sitting up there, we said, man, Fofo actually going to play the tuba, yo. Mm-hmm. That, Y'all was tripping. That, that Y'all was tripping. Him, <laughs> Y'all was tripping because I was like, <laughs> This dude, man, like, cause you won't play football no more. You mm-hmm. came over to get in the band mm-hmm. with us. Mm-hmm. You stopped playing football mm-hmm. and came to be in the band with us. Mm-hmm. That is shit is unheard. But, of. but no, but see, no. When I got to, no, I stopped when I transferred to Kennedy. I ain't you know, my, my, right. remember. I only played football my senior year. I didn't play. Oh. I always played basketball and baseball right. that, that, because okay. I was Thank like, I was like, man, I ain't running the ball and right. you know what I'm saying. Boom, boom, boom. So Boo and Lily. My two, you know, Calvin Johnson Davis, Johnson, my two best friends, man. Yeah, they'll be your boys. They, they are, they, they played a, a super duper big role in, in their journey. We've been cool for 36, 37 years. And you know how some friends might take a break, like five years you might don't see. So, bro, hit my hand to God. We never took a break. Man, you know, and I'm going to tell you. Never that, took a break, bro. That is rare because... I can't say um, anybody on a consistent basis mm-hmm. that I had a friendship with. It's always been broken up. I got you. But you guys, man, c- collectively, like you said, y'all guys been together ever since I've known y'all. Yeah. We and never that, took a bro. We never. And it's crazy. And like I was, we was talking about that the other day. I didn't, I didn't realize it. Because stuff like that, you don't dwell on. You know what I'm saying? You just boom, boom, boom. And then I'm like. Shout out, we never took a break. Shout out to shout out to that mom, which is my mom too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cheryl Jackson, Mama Nay. That's shout what I call her. And my mom, vice versa. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my mom. Is she's like a mom to them. It's, it's like, you know, we call each other moms, moms. We man, I swear to God, man. Like, those those are not my friends. Those are my brothers. Like, I mean, it ain't gotta be blood, bro, but the love, man, I get them boys all like, hey, bro. All that got man, all little man. Even if I didn't know that, you don't even got to explain that. Bro, like, those two dudes played a big part of my life, too. They made me wake up and realize, fool, you got to hold yourself accountable. They showed me tough love. Okay. Them, my mom, and my brothers, and some more of my family members Mm -hmm. showed me tough. Man, they, bro. And you know what? I was like, you know, when you're doing wrong, you stop me, you be like, man, man, F them then, boom, boom, boom. Right. But then when you really sit down and look at it, you be like, man, they right, boy. You the problem, boy. Boom. Yeah, bro. And like I said, I, I'm just, like I said, you know, just so happy that you're sitting here because when you hit me up, mm-hmm. and I think it was like, I saw you in June, mm-hmm. but then we you hit me up, he was like, man, I'm actually seeing what you're talking about doing. Hey, man, I'm proud of you. Yep. And me, I don't know how to take compliments with yeah. you because I don't get compliments. Yeah. Not in that fashion because, mm-hmm. you know, 
in the way my man Petty, Sean Pettiford, mm -hmm. you know, he said it right here, man, Richmond is the most non-flower givingest mm -hmm. city of just want to just give people their flowers mm -hmm. and just salute them, man. We, we, we don't do it enough. We don't. Even in this environment with mental health and everything, it's, yeah. it's a big thing, but we don't. But I, I don't know why. It, it, it's like it's like this with me. Like you see me every time you see me, I'm the same dude. I'm gonna be bouncing around. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Having fun. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna, bro. I'm gonna give you your love, bro. If you don't like, I, I ain't see. I hadn't seen you. At the, you know what I'm saying? A minute. And that's when I told you I was like, look, bro. I look you dead in your eye, bro. I say, look, bro. Proud of you, boy. Keep doing what you're doing, y'all. And that's that shit was sincere. You know what I'm saying? And I meant what I said, bro, because I seen it. You know what I'm saying? I, I was appreciate like, it coming from you. Because yeah, man. I've always looked up to you as far as guys that, you, like I said, you athletically, mm -hmm. you just gifted in mm -hmm. everything. Like I said, you was an entertainer. Mm -hmm. But when y'all used to kill them talent shows and stuff like that, man, I was just like, mm -hmm. there was nothing you could do. So to get you guys like you, you know, or Ray Ray. Yeah. You know, shout to Ray. Away. My man. You know what I'm saying? Even when he came up to me and said what he said, was like, man, I, I, man, Larry, you, when you be talking to them dudes, man, you, it's like you've been there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. you know, even Rock, when he even called me, he said, man, you know everybody, man. You, yeah. You, you perfect for this. So when you got people, even Christy Lomax, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. her, she said, shout out to her. She said, you were perfect for this. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to take those compliments. I don't. But when I, inside, I'm like, these are the people that I respect. Mm -hmm. And when I hear that, it was like, okay, I made it. Yeah, because you know what? It's, it's, it's funny you say that. I started out, I started out like that. Mm -hmm. Didn't know how to, I know, you know how to take it, but you really don't know how to grasp it. Right. Right then. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then after, you know, a period of time, you'd be like, oh, man, yeah, man, I, I, love, I appreciate that love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it, it's unexpected. And mm -hmm. for me, I do better mm -hmm. with people I don't know mm -hmm. yeah. than the people who I do know. Mm -hmm. Because the people who I do know, mm -hmm. they know you as who you are. Mm -hmm. So no matter how much you grow from being from here to here, they're going to always see you as the person Thank you, you were. They're never going they to They look at the process that we get where you got it. They're never See? going to look at you differently. I could become a doctor mm. and I could be the best goddamn sports doctor there is mm. or whatever it is or lawyer, but they're going to see, man, that's just Larry, like, man. He wouldn't kidded it with me. I, you know Bruh. what I'm saying? He ain't make the basketball team or he yeah, ain't some, make some negative. Team. They're going to always see you as that. Mm. But the people who don't know you, mm. the people who appreciate you, so then, they don't have that advice. And, 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 and they know you when, when they figure out, when, I mean, when they find out your story, yeah. like the people you say that don't know you, right? they really appreciate you because right. they see, see, the people that know you supposed to have that same mind frame that the people don't. You're right. supposed to look at where he came, what, what he's doing got him from here to here. Right. Oh, they stuck on this. Yeah. They, all they ain't looking at this because see, a smart man would be like, well, damn, if, um, if somebody trying to do what you're doing, mm -hmm. he went from here to here. Mm -hmm. I need to holler at bro. Yeah. Because see, you, you sitting up here, you ain't sitting down here, but people just don't want it. Let stuff go, man. Like They don't. They still see you as that. And I'm just like, okay, fine. If, if that's what you do, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm prepared for that stuff. So yeah. I'm already prepared for what they think that they're going to say. Mm -hmm. I'm like LeBron James. <laughs> he said, there's not one defense that I haven't seen See. that y'all ain't throwing me that I'm not prepared for. There you go. And I'm the same way with this. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that you guys can say, mm -hmm. bad or otherwise, about me that mm -hmm. I'm not prepared for to hear if y'all try to put something out there. I'm yeah. prepared for that. Because I already know there's going to be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm like, I don't even let it bother me. Yeah. I'm just man. like, okay, that's what it is. All right, okay. Yeah, that happened. Mm -hmm. It did. Next. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, it's man. not being cocky, but it's, it's just not. like. It's not. It's like, why? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's some, I'm sure it's something that you could do as well. That, yeah, see, you that's what I'm saying. But you could find someone to divert your energy. So I'm like, okay, all right. What you want to do? Okay. Yeah. You know, we ain't I, about I know what I didn't do. There you go. I watched a lot of you guys. Mm -hmm. I watched. I, I just soaked everything up. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. This is just something that I was just playing around with. There you go. I didn't set out to do a podcast. It was just, hey, yeah, I'm I've always I'm... gave people their flowers. Yeah, always. Just now, we just have cameras and phones and yeah it's that crazy man I'm like all right technology man, man yeah the technology has just changed mm -hmm. and i'm still not comfortable with being on the camera 
You not? No. Mm. I'm not. People think I'm lying when I say that. I'm not. So I was just like, that's why my focus is always on my guests. I got you. Because if that's the game, if it was about me, mm. it would be a different name. Mm. It's about balling the VA. I'm not balling. It's you guys. <laughs> you guys balling. It doesn't mean balling means sports. It mm. could be anything. Yeah. And that's why we got you here today to yeah. give you your flowers because everybody, know, man, goddamn folk. Yeah, folk did. Man, man folk did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did do this. Mm -hmm. And for the people that don't know, I ain't know he did that. Yep. And I wanted to highlight that. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you guys was doing the flag. Y'all was winning mm -hmm. all those championships yeah, and man. stuff like that. So you just was a part of it. So bro, and I'm, hey, bro, I, like, I t like I said earlier, bro, like, I'm real, I'm real appreciative, man, for real, like. Yeah, Angela, and that, even on like on on my end, but then again, on your end, you doing something positive, constructive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just, some some you like you say you ain't used to be on the camera, but you like doing this though. Yeah, I just being the cut. I was all. I can't believe that you, you say you you the camera. I mean, all, all going as you is, man. No. You always, you know what I'm saying? But that, but that, but the focus was never on me. I got you. You know I got what I'm you. saying? Like, I feel you. Like, Rock used to always say, man, you could quote this, 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 Boom. this. We was at Smiley at Baby Child's um, block party. They uh -huh. was giving his memorial. Yeah. And Smiley said, man, lad, me and Baby Charles used to hate you, man, because you can always quote this, this, and this. But the pressure was never on me. There you go. See, there was no spotlight on me. I mm. could say stuff, but nobody was going to listen to me. There you go. They, I was just another voice mm -hmm. but so I, I was comfortable there mm -hmm. now there's a spotlight i'm like uh, yeah they, eyes on you now yeah but it's on y'all mm -hmm. so i'm just like let me ask you this question and yeah. the camera goes to y'all okay so it's not about me so yeah, i man. tell people i don't put no spotlight on me i just yeah talk to you guys. it's about celebrating you guys man, i appreciate guys it man it, like and you're doing it and we need to put emphasis on that and that's why I said, if you guys got any cookouts, mm -hmm. any type of private parties that y'all want to do, like I said, here's your guy right here. Support him. Yeah. I don't care if you in Norfolk. I don't care if you in Hampton. I don't <laughs> care if you in... We can if, make if, some shake, babe. Right. I don't care if you're in Northern Virginia, mm -hmm. out there in Roanoke, uh, Danville, shake. whatever you want to do it. Make hey, man, shake. this is called Ballin' in VA. Mm -hmm. So if you in VA, mm -hmm. you outside the state... You want to holler at my man? I don't know what, who see it. I don't know where it is. Holler at him. I'm pretty sure he can get there. Yeah. He's just been one of them guys that's always this stuff. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, so, bro. No, I, I just appreciate you just reaching out, man. And, and, and this like, it's, it's, this is, bro, this is wonderful, though. Like, <laughs> you so I ain't always sit up here like, yeah, like, yeah, like, like bro. With, hey, look, uh, and, and this, this is the true fact right here when I walk through here. And I saw that. Man, I was a groupie to my own sign, man. I felt like a groupie when I saw that. <laughs> That's a, that might sound strange, but when I saw that, and I say, that thing sound that pretty like that, I say, man, I became my own groupie, man. Man, That's everybody, crazy. the first thing people come in here, mm -hmm. they look at the studio, but they see the sign. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you got to make people feel mm -hmm. comfortable. And know what? Another thing, I don't know if I told you this, but I talked to my brother about this too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, a lot of the, a lot of people don't know that uh, I do comedy too. I did the Funny Bone. You know what? Anton I Scott and and Jay Ski put me on. Okay. And that was my first time ever doing hosting, it. Though. No, they gave me they gave me five or six minutes. Man, listen, two I nights. That, but you know what though? They're great. But you know what though? See, you, no, see people forgot about that I, game I, I, too. No, I know what I'm now, about see, to say. Hey, bro. People forget about the crack game. Hey, you remember when you on the back of the bus? <laughs> I'm a bus 52. Mm -hmm. I was the end of the day. You and Miko. Remember you and Miko? Mm -hmm. And y'all used to crack on people. Mm -hmm. And it was crazy because Miko would sit up there and say something. I don't know where Miko and I ain't seen Miko in yeah. here. I saw him like about a couple months ago. Really? Yeah, okay, he, that's yeah, he good, man. Right you used to crack. Mm -hmm. He was a person, if you say something crazy, he was going to fight you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you used to crack all the time. I was like, oh, my God. Especially when we got to Kennedy. Yes. Oh, see. And Bob, them rest in peace, Bob. Mm. Oh, man, yeah. Sean Tillman. Yeah, man. And it was crazy because, well, we was at Kennedy. I was telling John <laughs> Marshall, I said, look, don't come over here with that foolishness because mm -hmm. two things are going to happen. We get cracked. Mm -hmm. And if y'all say something crazy, mm -hmm. it's going to be them hands going to be yep. thrown. So 
make sure that you kind of pick and choose mm-hmm. what you was going to do. Because John Marshall dudes used to crack. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, they could, they could You know what? Down. Yeah, because I used, I used to crack their hands all the time, too. Oh, it, it, was, man. it was just like that. You they know what I'm saying? always crack. And I was yep. like, they could do that over here, too, yeah. when we get to Kennedy, man. Yeah. That's all we used to do. So we used to walking crack, through man. that hall, you might walk down the hall, it might be Fairfield. Yeah. You walk on that back hall, it was yep. Booker. Yep. You walk on the other side, it was yep. Blackwell. Yeah. It was on out that back hall by Mr. Yep. Connor class, it was Highland Park. Highland Park, yeah. Then you had over there by the, it was at Jackson Ward. Yeah. So you forgot you forgot Blackwell and Hillside, you know, too. I was saying Blackwell, Hillside, all of them. So it was like. We went to school with a lot of people. A lot of people. And people from the West End. Yeah. A lot of them. So, like I said, they had the it was the hallways. So then you go upstairs. Mm-hmm. You know, it might be full and bottom. A couple of people that might get over there. Yep. It, it, it Never know. Like that. Yeah, man. I'm, hey, a bro, lot of bureaus. Bro, I, I miss them days, man. But I'm I'm really for real, for real. I'm gonna reach out to Anton Scott, man. But I'm a, I'm gonna um probably get my I ain't gonna say probably. I'm gonna do it because that's how that's how I do. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my feet back wet. Okay. And you know what I'm saying. Mess around with it, you know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna be without when I do. I'm gonna be dedicated. See, I ain't go, I ain't go play around with it because when other comedians see that, mm-hmm. they look at it the same way I look at DJing. Okay. Either you gonna do it or you ain't. You know what I'm saying. I mean, me, I don't, don't, don't do it to play around with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Do it. You know what I'm saying. And they, they'll be the same way with because they don't want nobody taking now, down. You know, down, uh, down calling for a joke. Right. That is true. You know what I'm saying. Because I I'm, I know they passion. I know those brothers. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just doing it to be doing it to try to get a quick dollar. But that's what people doing DJing now. They think they think they can spend records for four hours, bro. They look at it because you know why? People like me and other DJs, we make it look easy. Yeah. You so, so they think that they can do it. But you've been doing this stuff, and that's why I said. It, it, man, it, it's crazy, bro. Skills and Lonnie B yeah. are an extension of them. Yeah. He was around them and, a and, lot. And uh, uh, Lonnie inspired me. When right. I, I always, I always, even when we was in high school when he was DJing. I, right. Bro, I, I always, I always, always, fuck, with always fuck with Lonnie. Always around I always fuck with Lonnie. You know what I'm saying? And you know, Donald Skills was always around, but people like him, DJ Drake, mm-hmm. DJ G Money, oh man, that's my man. DJ Kenny Boy, um, who, uh, who are for the, for the, for the, for the, um, mm-mm-mm. Call him, I see. It's terrible. But I'm gonna come up. We're gonna bring Hicks, up. But, he, bro, DJ bro. Shorty. Yeah, bro. He one of the ones that that showed me the way. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the, yeah, because he always tell me rest in peace, man. Yeah, cause, you know I was the MC for him. And he was like, "Fool, you start DJ, man. You will kill the game, bro." Yeah. And bro, you know what? He died. He died right before I um started getting my equipment, man. Wow. That John hurt me yeah, like a mom. It, it came out of nowhere, man. You know yep. what I'm saying? So yeah. You know, rest in peace. But I, I got, I got a lot of. De- I don't know why I'm going brain. Like I'm sorry, yo. No, but when you get, I tell I you, just, when you get under these lights, yeah, man. I'm saying, well, why are you? Because I'm, I'm, it's I'm different. I'm excited inside. Excited. I'm just not showing it. These lights be different. They make you because yeah. you want to say so much, mm-hmm. but you tend to forget. That. I want to yeah. tell people, you know, don't take offense to it. Mm-hmm. It's just if you're not used yeah, to the camera like that, you tend to forget, especially when the spotlight is yeah. on you. And see, see, I mean, the ones that that know me and really rock with me like that, they know. I'm right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man, but um But yeah, plug yourself one more time before we roll out. Yes, sir, man. You can, uh, can find you, man. You can yeah. catch me on the gram at DJ underscore King 804. That's DJ underscore K I N G 80 F O E. And on Facebook, you can catch me at on my government, uh Kevin Braxton on uh Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook, man. Yep, and sometimes yep. you'll see him on the Spike Punch podcast. Oh, yeah, be on there. With hey, that's fun. I, that, I be having a ball when I, I in know. That's what I say. I'm a plug in them mm-hmm. guys, man, because mm-hmm. they, that's 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 family there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you can catch him on there sometimes. Yeah, too. man. He be on there. So I just want to plug them out, shut them out too. Yep. The Spike Punch podcast on YouTube. Man. Mm-hmm. Check them out, man. It be on Fridays at like ten o'clock. So yep. check them out, man. I want to shout, like I say, my mom, my pops. My brothers, my aunts, uncles, because a lot of them, a lot of them been on this journey with me from the jump, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Pushing me, pushing me. I can't forget them. I got to shout them out, man. All my aunts, man. I ain't going to be specific with different names, but it's all of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not a certain, you know, different one here, one there, none of that. No, on both sides of my family. I just shout my family out, man. Everybody that came across my path, that either helped me or inspired me, man. 
I just want to say thank y'all, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because without them, for real, bro. I mean, I, I was going to do it anyway, but that, that was the incentive. That was extra motivation. Because when I, people were like, do it, bro. Do it. And boom. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, if you, you know, people that gave me a boost or found me gigs looking out for me, anybody that ever shared anything I put on Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, anything I did, and you put your hands on it, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all because, with, I mean, without y'all, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be right, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I really do appreciate that, man. I appreciate you, dog. Like, no, man. For giving me this opportunity. You feel me? Like, no doubt, bro. Yeah, man. We do, man. Yeah, man. I want to say I want to send a shout out before we roll out. The shout out the class of '92 JFK. Shout out the class of '93 JFK. Oh, yes, shout out to the band of JFK mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and anybody else who we forget, man. You know that scholar that go Cougar Den. Want to shout them out, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's who made us. That's where yeah. we came from. Yeah. So, but from um, Ballin and VA, y'all gotta make sure that y'all like, subscribe, and and and. Please comment to Marset Media on YouTube. Yes. And please. You know, I want to hear some so, comments. Yeah, please comment. And if you got any contacts, if you can't, in case you didn't get all the information, you could contact us and we'll put you in contact with DJ 804, mm -hmm. my man Kevin Braxton. I ain't mm -hmm. never called Kevin Braxton. <laughs> before, but, um, yeah. but yeah, but anything else, man, before we get up out here? No, I just, 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 I just ask to continue to support, man, because I'm going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Not only, like you were saying, the sports and stuff like that, too, but I mentor, too, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go to college for it. You know what I'm saying? Them, them streets and experiences prep me for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I do a damn good job, man. You know what I'm saying? So I know I save a lot of lives, but that as well, you know, that's it, man. And I appreciate it, man. Yep. And for that, that's we it, out, y'all. My sir. Appreciate y'all watching the episode again today, y'all. You know, go over and make sure that y'all check out my man, rickstocker.com, for any of your home buying needs. Appreciate it. Thanks again.